Now, let me discuss the drugs affecting the muscarinic activity. So, we have discussed the muscarinic action and we have discussed the nicotinic action. Now, let me tell you what are the drugs which are having the effect or drugs affecting the muscarinic activity. So, if you see the drugs affecting the muscarinic activity, like we have two groups of drugs. One is your cholinergic drugs. Right, cholinergic drugs and the other group is the anti-cholinergic drugs. Right, the other group is the anti-cholinergic drugs. Now, you take this particular cholinergic drugs. Cholinergic drugs, they are also called parasympathomimetic drugs. Right, they are also called parasympathomimetic drugs. If you take the parasympathomimetic drugs, the parasympathomimetic drugs examples like we have certain directly acting drugs. So direct acting drugs are example we have acetylcholine and as well as pilocarpine. Right? Acetylcholine and as well as the pilocarpine these are the directly acting drugs and these are the parasympathomimetic drugs. Then we have anticholinergic drugs. The anticholinergic drugs they are parasympathomimetic drugs. Alright, so the anticholinergic drugs are what? They are parasympathomimetic drugs. Now you take this particular parasympathomimetic drugs. The mechanism is by various ways. So, let me discuss the mechanism. So, if you take the right, if you take the parasympathomimetic drugs, we have a group of drugs that is receptor selective antagonist. Right? Receptor selective antagonist that means these are the group of drugs they will selectively inhibit the receptors either muscarinic or the nicotinic receptors then we have non-selective antagonists right then we have non-selective antagonists and we have a group of drugs acting by some other mechanisms right drugs acting by other mechanisms now let me discuss one by one if you see the drugs acting by other mechanisms now what are those other mechanisms again we classify them into three types right we classify them into three types that is the drugs which will decrease the choline uptake Right? The drugs which will decrease the choline uptake and the drugs which will decrease the vesicular uptake of acetylcholine. Right? The drugs which will decrease the vesicular uptake of acetylcholine. That is the second group. And we have a group of drugs which will decrease the release of acetylcholine. Okay, so the drugs which will decrease the release of acetylcholine. Okay, now let me discuss the drugs under each group now. Now you take the drugs which will decrease the choline uptake. The drugs which will decrease the choline uptake into the parasympathetic nerve will be hemicholinium. So the example here is. Hemicholinium. So, hemicholinium will prevent the choline uptake into the parasympathetic nerve and thereby the acetylcholine synthesis will be reduced and thereby they have the parasympatholytic action. Next, we have a second group which will decrease the vesicular uptake of the acetylcholine. Normally, once the acetylcholine is formed, it is taken up into the vesicles within the parasympathetic nerve. 
now we have a group of drugs which will inhibit that particular vesicular uptake the example what we have is vesamicol right the example what we have is the vesamicol next we have a group of drugs which will decrease the release of acetylcholine now what are those group of drugs which will decrease the release of acetylcholine is your botulinum toxin so example what we have is botulinum toxin so remember this particular botulinum toxin it will decrease the release of the acetylcholine from the cholinergic nerve next we have receptor selective antagonist so if you see the receptor selective antagonist receptor selective antagonist like we have m1 blockers that is muscarinic 1 receptor blockers muscarinic 2 receptor blockers and muscarinic 3 receptor blockers so if you take the receptor selective antagonist so first we have m1 receptor blockers the m1 blockers are examples what we have is pyrenzepine right example what we have is a pyrenzepine along with pyrenzepine we also have telenzepine so remember pylen pyrenzepine and as well as telenzepine both of them they are the m1 blockers then you have m2 blockers the example for your m2 blockers is tripitramine the example is tripitramine So tripitramine is a selective M2 blocker. Then we have M3 blocker. Then we have M3 blocker. The examples for the M3 blocker is darifenacin. Right? Example is darifenacin. Okay. So these are receptor selective antagonists. Then we have non-selective antagonists. So if you take the non-selective antagonist, the examples what we have is atropine and then we have hyoscine. Right? Atropine is one particular drug and the other one is the hyoscine. Okay? So both of them, they are non-selective antagonists. So remember, these are the drugs which are affecting the muscarinic activity. Drugs affecting the muscarinic activity, we classify them into cholinergic drugs and as well as the anticholinergic drugs. If you take the cholinergic drugs, they are parasympathomimetic drugs. That is directly acting drugs, examples they include acetylcholine and as well as the pilocarpine. You take the anticholinergic drugs, they are called parasympatholytic drugs. What is their action? Either they are receptor selective blockers or they are non-selective antagonists. That means they will block any of the muscarinic receptors. Right? Any of the muscarinic receptors can be inhibited by your non-selective antagonist. And then we have the drugs which are acting by other mechanisms. If you take the receptor selective antagonist, we have M1 blockers that is pyrenzepine and telenzepine. Then we have M2 blockers which is tripitramine. We have M3 blockers that is darifenacin. And you take the drugs which are acting by other mechanisms. The group of drugs which will decrease the choline uptake is hemicholinium. The group of drugs which will decrease the vesicular uptake of the acetylcholine is vesamicol. The group of drugs which will decrease the release of acetylcholine is botulinum toxin. Next, you have non-selective antagonists. The examples are atropine and as well as hyoscine.